Welcome back into episode 21. Um, I can't believe it's been 21 episodes. Uh, when you think about it, that's over five hours you've had to listen to me drone on about things and see, see me get things wrong and words mixed up. But um, I hope it's been entertaining. Um, but anyway, in this episode, um, I'm going to try and cover two things. I'm going to give you an update of where I am with the CIS fuel meter. Um, we're stepping towards taking the awkward part apart. Uh, and also I'm going to talk about the uh, removing the injectors from the runners because there's, uh, again, it's one of those subjects that I've really struggled to find a good tutorial video for. So I just wanted to show you how I've worked out how to get these injectors out of the intake runners. Um, online there's mixed videos and it just isn't clear exactly what's got to happen. But if I show you one that I've got here, this is one I've already cleaned up. Uh, and that is the injector I took out of it. So that injector is effectively pressed inside that hole. There's a rubber sort of grommet that it sits in, seal or whatever you want to call it. Um, and there's an aluminium seat that I need to take out later. But the goal at the moment is to get that out. So how? Let me show you. Here's one that I, uh, well, actually that's what it looks like before you start. So you can see it's sort of tight in. It's very hard to see what you're supposed to do with it. So this is one here that I've just started. And you can see it's started to pull out. And what I do is I use a combination of spanners that are sort of big enough to go over the injector completely and sit down onto that seat. So it sits down like that. Oops, sorry. Well, because I've started this one already, I just put that in the vise. I've started this one already, so I need more than one spanner. I need two spanners. So two spanners and the 12 mil nut. Right, that goes on there like that. And then what I do is just, <coughs> you just wind it up and it pulls the injector up. So by doing this, obviously the nut can't go down. So as I'm winding it, it has to pull the injector up. And I don't know if you can see from there, if I just... So there's the combination. You can see now the injector is, I've wound it enough that it's just sort of poking its head out. Uh, I just keep doing that for a while and that will come free. A few more. And as um, at some point, I'll have it either, I think it's come out now, um, So I need, either I put another um, spanner on to keep levering it up, or I pull it out. Let's just have a look what that looks like now. So that's what it looks like now. You see it's like quite a long way up now. It's still quite tight, it's still in there. So I would use another spanner, um, if I've got another big spanner, I can probably do. Down the bottom. Because it gives probably enough to get that out now. <clears throat> and just do the same again. It's a nice, easy solution to it. You don't have to buy separate bits, new, new sort of uh, tools or anything. Just use the spanners you've got. You can see again, now with three spanners, it's, uh, I've already wound it all the way up so it's sort of poking out the top again. At some point, that will come free. Right, so I'm gonna get, that's it creaking in the, um, on the rubber seal that it sits in. Waggling it out now. Oops, it's not 
quite holding that, is it? You see, it's almost out now. A very tight fit. And out. And one injector. There you go. A little bit of playing around, but it's not too hard. You can see it's destroyed the, there's like this rubber seal that's inside. That's destroyed, so it need replacing. But that's gonna break anyway after 40 years. Right, so um, I just keep repeating that and then I can start cleaning them up. I'll quickly show you how I'm tidying up the intake runners. Uh, <clears throat> wire brush and a drill, as always. So what I'm going to do is very quickly work over it. Um, you'll see how it comes up and then I do it a few times, but the first initial ones just get the bulk of the dirt off. So for completeness, I'll show how to remove the small sort of aluminium mounting in there and then the rubber seal inside it as well. Um, what I'm gonna do is basically heat it up with my tap gas torch. hot enough you can see the uh there's probably a bit of oil inside burning out um right get this in here this is a 12 mil uh allen head socket there we are and it comes straight out when it's hot let's quickly blast under the tap okay so that's uh, i've called that down under the tap now so we can take that out so i'm not keen to touch it Unwind that out. Right. So that's what it looks like. Now the rubber sort of seal is inside there. What we're going to do, I may be able to, is that hot now or not? No, but okay. I may be able to just grab it with these pliers. If not, you have to sort of pick it out a little bit differently. But here it comes. You can see, so it's just starting to come out. So push from the other side, there it goes. There we are. So that's the rubber sleeve that sits inside that holds the uh, injector, and that's the aluminium mounting. Okay, so I've got four of my runners completely stripped down now. The injectors are out, the aluminium seats are out, and the actual rubber uh, seal is out as well. And I've uh, given a go and over with the wire brush to tidy them up. I'm gonna do a little bit more work on these to get them really clean. Uh, and I'm still yet to decide whether I like varnish them uh, or clear coat them uh, or just leave them raw or paint them up a colour. I've got to decide about that. The, um, the actual aluminium mountings in there, most of mine are okay. There's a couple that aren't, so I'm going to replace those. They're about £7 each, so not a huge cost. And the actual rubber seals that go inside and hold the injector in place, all of mine are shot. Uh, they're about £5 each, so I'll pick those up. With the actual injectors, this is uh, the original one. Um, I'm gonna replace with the Mercedes uh, replacement ones, which are about a centimeter and a half shorter. But I've read various reviews of people using them without any problems. Some people actually say they work better because they're further back, they allow the spread of the fuel to be either a bit broader, a bit wider. Um, but I'll try those out. They're a fraction of the cost, about half price. 
Uh, I think they're about £23 each. Um, so in terms of the uh, injectors and runners, looking pretty good. Um, uh, in the background, I'll do the other four and get all those ready, all of the parts, and then I'll film the reassembly of everything. So just give you a quick update on where I am with the CIS bits. Um, this is the body, obviously cleaned up quite well. Um, I've scrubbed the old gasket off completely, so that's nice and clean now. Um, obviously this is just cleaning, there's no actual um, sort of technical stuff here, but it's nice to get it up clean. Um, the throttle body I've cleaned up as well, that's got a new O-ring underneath. Um, I've put some new bolts in just so it's uh, sort of held on there, I don't lose it. Um, the linkage mechanism I've not disassembled. Uh, I've just cleaned it up and lubricated it again, but it all works. I mean, there's nothing too complicated in there, but it all works quite happily. Um, so I've not taken anything apart there. Uh, this was probably repaired at some point. You can see, I hope it shows up on camera. There's like a, a patch there that's been very carefully welded back in, but I don't know when that would have happened. Uh, it looks very good, so maybe that was from the factory. So that's the bottom part of the um, the unit. There's this bit that was um, in a pretty sorry state. I think that's a butterfly valve of some form, vacuum uh, activated by the looks of it. Uh, I've, again, I've just cleaned it up. I've not tested any of this stuff. Um, I could put a vacuum line on that actually. It would be a good idea just to test that out. That attaches to there with new, make sure you can see that. Uh, with new hose pipe here, which I need to uh, source um, the old ones a bit rotten. Then we've got the top of the unit. This is the actual MAF sensor. Um, to clean that up, I've uh, obviously this I use my wire brush on. Uh, this I can't, and it's a bit more delicate, so I've used that um, Alubrite spray, which is pretty good. I don't know if that comes up with how clean it is on camera. It's not immaculate, it's not like it's been um, you know, hit with a wire brush, but it's pretty decent. So again, um, I've not disassembled this yet. What I do have though, which is in the box here somewhere, that's the rebuild kit for it. Let's see if you can see it. There's all the, um, there's washers and springs and little ball bearings and things. That basically, um, you can rebuild the mechanism that, pivots the uh the lever here the make the counterweight i'll do that in the background um well i might video that it might be useful actually uh so that's waiting to be done so that sits there and then the well i think that's all we're going to get time for in this video um the cis meter we've got all stripped down cleaned up um ready to go back together new gaskets and seals and things uh we have the runners all stripped apart now injectors out the uh, awkward little um, aluminium uh, mounts are out and all of the seals. And we are now ready to tackle this bad boy. So I've watched a few videos on it. Doesn't look too bad. It does need um, to be done indoors, sort of on a bench, very clean, keep it grip free and everything. Um, but I think we'll have a go. I'll order the rebuild kit. Um, worst case scenario, if I get stuck, I can always send it away and get it rebuilt. Uh, but that should be interesting. That might be a video or two in the future because I need to wait for the parts to arrive. Um, so thanks for joining me again this week. Uh, as ever, please subscribe. Um, hit the bell notification uh, so you know when I upload videos. And I'll see you next time.